Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k to the power of 6 minus 7 to the power of 6 is equals to 0 and we solve this problem for all the values of k. So here you see that this is 6th order equation, it means that this equation has 6th root, we need to find all that 6th roots of this equation. And now we move towards the solution of this problem. Uh, so the very first thing we are going to do is here first uh, we just rewrite this equation as this is k to the power of 6 we write it as k cubed and its whole square minus we write the 7 to the power of 6 as 7 cubed and its whole square and this equation is equals to 0 and now here further in the next step we need more simplifications here and here uh, we just apply the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so according to this uh, here uh, we apply the uh, below formula to the above equation so after applying this formula our above equation is written as in this form so here first we have a minus b the value of a is k cubed minus the value of b is 7 cubed again you have a plus b the value of a is k cubed plus the value of b is 7 cubed and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write k cubed minus 7 cubed equals to 0 and the second case is we write k cubed plus 7 cubed is equals to 0 and we call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2. So here we need to solve these two equations. Uh, so here first we focus on equation number 1 so that from equation number 1 we have. So in equation number 1 uh, you see that this is cubic equation. Uh, so here we use this nice cubic formula you know about that if we have a cubed minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so here we use this nice cubic formula to solve uh, the equation number one uh, so here uh, after the applying this formula uh, this equation is written as first you have a minus b the value of a is k minus the value of b is 7 and, and again we have this is a square the value of a is k, k square plus a b the value of a is k and b is 7 plus b square so b is 7 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. So further we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write k minus 7 equals to 0 and the second case is we write k square plus 7k plus this is 7 square becomes 49 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here our target is to find the values of k so from here we get the value of k is equals to this is minus 7 now we move it into the right hand side and it will becomes plus 7. So this is the first value of k and now here in order to find the other values of k we need to solve this quadratic equation. So here we use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. So for using the quadratic formula first we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1, b equals to 7 and c is equals to 49. And we state the quadratic formula as k is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a. So this is the, our uh, quadratic formula and here we need to substitute the values of a, b and c. Um, and when we put all of these values here it will be written as the value of b is minus 7 plus minus square root of b square b is 7 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 49 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is minus 7 plus minus square root of this is 7 square becomes 49 minus 4 times of 49 
divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. So here in the next step, uh, we need uh, more simplifications here. Uh, and after simplify these values, it will be written as uh, k is equals to this is minus 7 plus minus here we need to take common 49 inside the term and after taking common 49 we get the remaining values are 1 minus 3 sorry 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 2 so further in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and we have k is equals to minus 7 plus minus here we need to apply the square root separately on both of these two values and we know that the square root of 49 becomes 7 into square root of the 1 minus 4 equals to minus 3 and it is divided by 2. So further in the next step we have k is equals to minus 7 plus minus this is 7 times of here we know that square root of 3 becomes square root of 3 and square root of minus 1 becomes iota and it is divided by 2 so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and we have k is equals to 7 be the one real root of the given equation so from first equation we get these are the three roots of the given equation and now here in order to find the other three roots we need to focus on equation number three equation number two so that we copy down equation number two here it is k cubed plus 7 cubed is equals to 0 and here we apply this nice cubic formula you know about that if we have a cubed plus b cubed is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square so here we use this nice cubic formula to the above equation and after applying this formula our above equation is written as so uh, here we have this is k plus 7 times of k square minus k into 7 plus 7 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write k plus 7 equals to 0 and the second case is we write k square minus 7 k plus this 7 square becomes 49 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So from here we easily get the value of k is equals to minus 7 uh, this is the fourth real root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation uh, so here we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b equals to minus 7 and c is equals to 49 and we already write the quadratic formula into the first uh, case uh, so we again apply this formula here and it will be written as first you have minus b the value of b is minus 7 plus minus uh, b square the value of b is minus 7 square plus uh, minus 4 times of a c a is 1 and c is 49 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 so this is minus times minus becomes plus 7 and plus minus now this minus 7 square is also becomes plus 49 and here we have minus 4 times of 49 and it is divided by 2. And in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is 7 plus minus when you take common 49 from here and we take square root so it will become 7 times of square root of minus 3 and it is divided by 2. So from here we get the other two uh, complex roots of the given equation are 7 plus minus 7 times of square root of 3 and minus 1 square root becomes iota and it is divided by 2. So in the second case we get these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and we have this is the sixth real root of the given equation. So these are the uh, total six root of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.